you've gotta be kidding me. Hello? Is this on? Oh, uh, okay, it's on. Hi everyone, Lix here. It's certainly been a uh, <clears throat> while since I last uploaded on this channel. That's on me. I did not intend on being gone this long, but as per usual, consistency is my arch nemesis and motivation is a force that evades me, so here we are. There's been some changes to the channel following my absence that you all may have noticed. We've got some cool new assets, though given the fact I didn't post for a year, that was probably to be expected of me. Because god forbid that I remain satisfied with my art for more than a couple of months. Among these assets, you may have noticed a change that's a bit more significant than the others. If not, look very carefully at your screen for a little bit longer. Do you see it yet? Yeah, I redesigned my persona again. Now, you may be wondering... Why? The previous design was perfectly fine as is. Well, to fully explain it, let's backtrack for a quick moment. Allow me to weave the tale of how I came up with my persona to begin with, and what caused the changes that led to this redesign. During my primitive years on the internet, I, like many young artists, wanted to come up with a consistent way to represent myself separately from the character-based work that I created. I was pretty young and really into storytelling animation on YouTube at the time, and as a result, the character I designed ended up resembling my real-life self in a way. A pale girl with long brown hair. The light blue jacket that I usually drew her in, even masked one that I owned in real life at that age, which was my favorite jacket on account of it being my favorite color. As I grew older, my appearance obviously changed quite a lot, but a few aspects of this design carved through onto later versions of my persona. Specifics like hair length and style changed to match how I looked, and glasses were added to the design after I took to wearing them. But all in all, three things about my persona remained consistent. She was pale, brown-haired, and dressed in blue. These characteristics were still present at the very beginning of this YouTube channel. At some point, the character I'd concocted to represent myself I ended up passing out of the pants of self-insert, leading to the creation of Leda Aquamarine. Old viewers of this channel might recognize that name from Pixelmentals, and even older fans of mine might recall from my Wattpad days, in which case I offer my sincerest condolences. This character was many things, whether that be a Pokemon trainer, a musician, or a super-powered high school student, but a persona she was not, and when I decided to rebrand my channel back in 2021, I ended up having to start from scratch. This was how I ended up coming up with the very first version of Lex. I wanted to circle back to my original goal of just having a guy to represent myself, so I forwent any magical attributes and stuck to the basics. Some aspects of the last rendition of Little Aquamarine remained, mainly the little ponytail and the yellow parts of her color palette, but the hair was for the most part revamped entirely into a half up half down kind of style, and the palette also had pink spliced in because I identified as pansexual at the time and couldn't resist the opportunity to make my persona a white and pride flag. The outfit was pretty simple. I wanted it to be something comfortable looking enough to match what I would wear in real life, though the shorts were a stylistic choice since I wanted to add uneven socks to counteract the asymmetrical aspect of the shirt sleeves. The star memorabilia was a somewhat new addition, I'm a bit of a sucker for starring cloud imagery, but this was the first time it appeared in this specific sense. The logo on the shirt of this design was a rough concept I winged while fiddling with concepts for the red design on Ibis Paint, back when I was waiting for my drawing tablet to get repaired, and I ended up sitting with it. The XV 1.0 was around for about a year or so, up until May of 2022, when I switched to what I called the Neapolitan Ice Cream variant. It actually stems from an alternate outfit I designed for the 2021 design for an animatic I planned to make shortly after rebranding. Said animatic never came to fruition, but I ended up quite liking the design created from it. The 2.0 was designed with the goal of making her hair make more sense, but somewhere along the line, Simk Shits, as she was called back then, popped back up in my head, and I ended up recycling that outfit for that foundation of my persona. And well, up until a couple of months ago, I was really happy with it. In fact, I stuck on a bam. Which, of course, begs the question. Why did I redesign her again in the first place? To start us off, let me set the scene. It was end of 2023, and I was absolutely not feeling it. The school year was coming to a close, and it has tossed away a part of my soul somewhere along the way that I am still awkwardly trying to steal back. To signify that that period of my life was over, I wanted some sort of visual change, so I stumbled into the tried and true coping mechanism of dyeing my hair. I've thought about dyeing my hair a number of times in my life, but I never truly committed to the idea up until this point. I was set on dyeing a streak of my hair light blue, as that is my favorite color, and originally didn't plan to alter my persona much as a result, seeing as it fit in quite well with the existing design. However, as it turns out, light blue hair dye is a teeny bit more difficult to come by than I expected, so I ended up settling for dark blue. Thus bringing me to the dilemma that while it looked sick, trying to shoehorn dark blue onto the Lex V2.0 design was not going to work. 
I experimented with it a bit, but it just made the car pod feel too busy. And while I could have very easily just made some slight adjustments to my personal design and call it a day, I'm just a smidge too committed to the bit. So I decided a full redesign was the answer. The streak was dark blue, and dark blue makes me think of the night sky, so the concept that I started drafting was very much themed after it. After all, I like stars, so it wasn't too far off from the power designs in terms of theme anyway. Because of this, I ended up settling for a darker color pot. The base sweater was changed to a black one that fades into dark blue, decorated with yellow and light blue little stars. It likes the bright, cheerful vibe of Lex V2.0, but the darker base colors help make the yellows and light blues of the palette stand out quite nicely. A similar change was done to Dunleven socks, as they were altered into starry tights, somewhat reminiscent to ones worn by later renditions of the Dark Marine. I did decide against having the stars cover the entirety of the clothing, though, as that felt like it was a little too much. I did want to keep the logo on her shirt the same, but the new color path made the cloud look a bit odd, so I switched it to a white crescent moon with a light blue star next to it. The hair also changed, which is a Lixit's redesign staple at this point, I am far too nitpicky for my own good, as did some other minor things like the shoes, for no solid reason other than I felt like doing so. The most notable addition in this design, though, is probably the starry halo that floats over their head. I remarked earlier that I wanted the more recent versions of my persona to be nothing more than silly little guys, but as I was brainstorming for this, the idea of creaturifying my persona really spoke to me, so I ended up retconning that a bit. A similar design source can be seen in some of the later editions of my old persona, and honestly, I miss it quite a bit. I love animating funky little floaty things, and given how star-themed the design was, I couldn't resist bringing it back. I did want some sort of explanation for what exactly the halo was, though, so I looked through my list of hyperfixations and went, Minecraft Origins mod, my beloved, my persona is a starborn now! Lex V3.0 is an ethereal little guy that wanders the galaxy and stuff, then their colored hair and halo glow in the dark as a result. This change doesn't really affect much else in the grand scheme of things though, but it does also mean that my persona now matches with the student Strider Boy, which is lovely. I dubbed this design the Stargazer variant of my persona for reasons that I'm actually not too certain of. My only guess is that I took inspiration from a Honkai Star Rail guide I had on my phone at the time because I thought it sounded cool, but that's more of a hunt than anything. Nonetheless, this design is one I am undeniably happy with. It's both similar to the previous edition and different enough to feel like a genuine breath of fresh air, and I just love it, it's such a vibe. But yeah, that marks the semi-comprehensive history of my art persona. This video was meant to be a bit reintroductory, I'll admit, as I wanted to tackle the changes I've made over the past few months in an attempt to move past my elongated absence. I have plans to get back into making content in the very near future, with videos ranging from other sort of artsy deep types and silences, to gaming videos similar to ones I was doing before, to animatics, specifically that one thread for certain webcoming projects of mine that's been absolutely kicking my ass for the last year and a half. If you'd be interested in updates regarding my shenanigans and more of my art, follow me on my Instagram and Tumblr, both of which are linked in this video's description. My content on there does veer off a bit into the realm of fan art, but I'm definitely a lot more active on there than I am on YouTube right now. I'd also recommend subscribing if you enjoyed this video, my upload schedule is a mess and it's probably the easiest way to ensure you get notified about the next one, whenever that will be. As always, it has been my absolute pleasure to make your acquaintance. I shall be off now, back into my dripping black hole of Gaza games, Pokemon, and Minecraft. Now, without further ado, I have been Lexitz, and I hope to see you later.